Today's tip at Computer World is how to use the new power nap on your Apple computer. To find out if your system is able to have power nap, what I did was just went to Apple's website and did a search for power nap and they give you a nice little area in their support field about PowerNap. And Apple computers, the laptops need to have at least Mountain Lion to run it, and the desktops need to have at least Mavericks to run it. Um, and as you can see, the models are gonna be all different of what can support the PowerNap feature. So a MacBook Air that is a 2010 or newer will be able to support PowerNap. A MacBook Pro 13 inch, the um, late 2012, and then the Retinas are gonna be um, 2012 or the early 2013. Um, so, PowerNap is actually a great tool to use. Um, it's stored right within your system preferences if you go into Energy Saver. You do have the option to enable power naps. You may need to click on the lock to unlock it and then type in your user name and your password and then you can click enable power nap to be on or off. Um, and what power nap does is while your computer is sleeping, um, it can back up to your airport time machine or to um, check for your emails, check for updates on your calendar and things like that. In order to run a time machine backup, it does need to be used with an airport time capsule and the computer does need to be plugged in for power if it is a laptop. But otherwise, like I said, it can check for new mail that comes in, it can update contacts, calendars, reminders, notes, documents in your iCloud account, update your photo stream, I mean there's just a lot that it can do. Um, another nice feature that it can do is actually download software updates and perform software updates while your computer is asleep. Uh, do be aware though that the computer does need to be asleep in the user mode in order for it to work. So if you put your, if you log out of your user and just sleep it in the login screen, then nothing will work. It does need to be in the full user mode. So again, you just go into your system preferences, click on energy saver, make sure that the lock is unlocked so that you can make changes and then you can either just click for it to be enabled or uncheck for it to be not enabled. And that is a tip on how to use Apple's PowerNap on your Apple computer.